as they went on their journey, I expect they were thinking of the story of a miraculous baby, the story of a journey a married couple had taken, the story of a miracle that had been promised, and a story of a miracle that had been fulfilled. <coughs> And so as Mary and Joseph made their way through the land, a land where they were very aware that the neighbouring countries had invaded and had over the years destroyed so much, I wonder as they wandered and travelled, as she was heavy in her pregnancy, I wonder whether they thought God was near. They had the promises, they remembered the stories of old. But as they faced cold and the animals, as they wandered through and couldn't find a decent place to stay, as later on they had to <coughs> flee as refugees to Egypt as the king killed all the babies around them, I wonder if they sensed that God was present. I wonder if those promises were real to Mary and Joseph. Around 30 years later, just over, another couple, I like to believe they too were a married, married couple, they made their way, this time from Jerusalem, to their home. And as they travelled on their journey, they were grieving. They had lost the closest and the best friend that anyone could ever have. And they had had wonderful times. And they had had such hopes together. But now the one they loved had been torn from them through no fault of their own and no fault of his. And suddenly they discovered that the one they loved was with them. For the one they loved was that same baby who had been born at Bethlehem. The one they loved was Jesus. And suddenly they discovered that Jesus had risen from the dead. And that death itself was conquered. And suddenly, as they realised this, I guess their hands must have gone, wondering what on earth had happened. And you can see them pictured behind me. On the John Piper mosaic. John Piper, who gave us such a beautiful window at Coventry Cathedral and was known for his great work in this country. Whenever we go through difficult times, God is with us. God was with them for Mary and Joseph, and they remembered the promises given to Abraham and Sarah, very similar hundreds, many hundreds of years before. There were the promises for the couple behind them, Cleopas and perhaps his wife, perhaps another Mary. And suddenly they realised those promises were true. And in the same way that God was with Mary and Joseph in ways they perhaps could not fathom, in the same way that Cleopas and perhaps Mary suddenly discovered that God was with them, on that road from Emmaus, the stranger who had walked alongside them was, in fact, God, Jesus. In the same way, God comes to you and to me in unexpected ways. And as we respond to God, then we discover that God's comfort and strength is with us. God who conquers all that is wrong. God who brings his comfort. When my father died, around 20 years ago, I was reflecting a lot on how he, an orphan, who did not have a wonderful upbringing, who lost both parents very young in life, how he had made sense of life in the 20th century as he was rescued from Dunkirk, not being able to swim, as he was involved in the D-Day landings, D-Day plus a few days, and he had made sense, and I was thinking, what would I say at his funeral? And how he had made sense of life came to me. And I was grieving, 
And I remember getting on a train to go and visit my mother, wondering where God was. And as I sat down in the carriage, there was a colleague from another church who I knew. And she said, how are you? And I said, my father has died. And she said to me, that wonderful story in John's Gospel, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word is God. Story perhaps here at the Nine Lessons and Carols. That is a story about how God makes sense of life. The Word means to make sense of something in its language now. And suddenly she knew nothing of what I was thinking. But in her using exactly the same phrase as the one that was resonating in me, I knew that God was with me. And I began to find God's comfort. And God is with each one of us. God is speaking to each one of us. And as we respond, we discover his strength, comfort, and assurance. May it be this evening. Amen.